In part two of the Tiger series, we show the button assignments, how to adjust the display brightness and digital zoom, and how easy it is to turn the device on and off. At the same time, the Tiger will be calibrated. We show the difference between the civil and the law enforcement versions of the Tiger. Also, the various options for mounting the thermal device on a weapon in front of a rifle scope. Now the Tiger is mounted on a rifle. Next thing to check is if the picture of the scope and the Tiger are in line. To zero a thermal, you need to aim at a target that is at a higher temperature than the surrounding area. To do this, you can use special thermal targets or you get creative to preheat a piece of metal, buy a thermo pad on a drugstore to stick it on a target or use a hot cup of coffee. It's important to do this in one-time magnification because this is the original picture resolution of the Tiger. The other zoom levels, two times, four times, six times, will appear on a different place on a target. The reason for this is the Tiger is not set up for this magnification yet. You have to do this one by one. Each rifle or scope has different physical optical specification and the Tiger has not be adjusted to that. The Tiger comes with a fairly good one-time collimation straight from the factory here in Berlin. So your first shot with the Tiger should be very close to your normal point of impact using a daylight rifle scope. If everything is aligned with one time, you can move to the further magnification level. The further advantage here, you can do this in half pixel steps to adjust it exactly to the radical. This specific function is called SPC, sub-pixel collimation. This means normal-wise you can adjust a digital screen in one pixel steps because you have a digital sensor ready on a display. For example, on a distance of 100 meter, one pixel shift equals around about two centimeters on the target. SPC allows the adjustment in half pixel steps. So we are able to set up like on an MRAD rifle scope in one centimeter steps as huge improvement. Both points are special features of all devices from Anders Industries. Each zoom level can be collimated individually and adjusted in half pixel steps, enabling a particular high level of precision, especially useful for long range shooting. Because every rifle scope is different, you have to repeat this procedure with every new scope again. But no worries, the software provides six slots to store the settings for six different scopes weapons. If you use different scopes or rifle and switch the Tiger between them, you only need to load the preset and you're ready to go. Very convenient. Unlike the knot, the night observation device, the thermal can be used also during daylight. The magnification of the Tiger will help seeing more details. This is supported by another feature of Anders Defense. It's called IA upscaling. An internal algorithm enhances the thermal generated picture for better identification. Edges of objects are smoothed to prevent a strong pixelation. But all these fancy features couldn't show up on a hard duty everyday work without a good portion of robustness. That's why we at Anders Industries put a lot of effort into the development, the production of every single Tiger. Each single unit run through a stuff of testing parkour. Drop test 20 times with a force of 800 G, since we can't shoot several thousand rounds with every single device. Temperature test. We cool them down in the freezer and then heat them up in between minus 33 plus to 60 degrees Celsius. And a dive test. These and many other tests are part of the standard procedure that every single Tiger must go through before being cleared to leave the facility. Only by doing so, we can meet the high demand of our professional users. So far, we have only touched on many of these aspects of the Tiger. In the upcoming videos, we will go into more details about the individual functions. For example, the live firing with a Tiger and how to collimate and save 
the individual Zoom level is carried out. Stay tuned, stay safe, your Stefan. Oh, oh, oh.